All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechach Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, here I have this uh, clip here from ABC News, all right, which I just watched, and um, you know, I just want to, uh, I'm going to play it, all right, and I'll put the link in the description, but I'll pause it at certain intervals, all right, to really emphasize the key things that they say, all right, this is why, you know, you ha you really have to listen, all right, to the words that these 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 uh these um these news stations or whatever the case may be, what they use, man, all right. Listen to how they say these things, because the scriptures tell you what their words were smoother than butter, all right. So I'm gonna play this real quick and really listen to the the key words, all right, and terms and phrases that they use, all right. I'll play this real quick attack on a rabbi's home outside New York City where dozens were celebrating Hanukkah, an intruder bursting in, slashing people with a large machete before driving away. Five people were hurt, among them the rabbi's son. Within hours, the suspect... Now look at this guy. Look at this guy. Right? Check this out. If you look at this guy right here, and I did a video on this yesterday, alright? If you look at this guy right here, okay, if you notice the perpetrators or the, the, the suspects or whatever the case may be of these so-called anti-Semitic attacks are mo most of the time they'll use so-called Negroes, right? You look at him, he doesn't really look like he he, he lines up his, his his hair or whatever. You know, his be he has a full beard. That's key right there. He's a so called he's so called black and he has a full beard. Alright. So notice how with the whole David Anderson situation, the dude barely had a beard on his face, you know? But this guy, now they, they're making it more so-called realistic, you know? And, 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 and you know, I'm going to play the video. It's going to get to a part where you're going to hear, all right, what they're going to say, all okay? right? Which, which is key. And, and when you know how Esau works, these would be key terms and phrases that you can uh, identify, all right, to see what, what, what he's really up to or what he's trying to pull, Okay. So I'm gonna keep playing this. Found covered in blood, taken into custody. Tonight he's charged with five counts of attempted He he look hey man, they can they can straight come out and say, you know, to the to the um to the uh to the undisciplined or the ignorant mind. If they were to come out and say that this guy was a part of the so called black Hebrew Israelites, like they like to call us, which we don't call ourselves that, they would believe it. Why? Because they say, Well, look at him. He has a beard. All right, the way he looks. All right, people who 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 are who are swayed by Esau's media can say, "Well, he looks like he'll fit right in." Murder and burglary. The governor calling the attack an act of domestic terrorism. Boom! An act of domestic terrorism. All right. Notice how they're tying in. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> that's crazy, man. They're tying in. Um, this so-called anti-Semitic, what they call hate crimes, all right, with domestic terrorism. But when when it's reversed, all right, when you have the Trayvon Martins and the Mike Browns, okay, and and the uh, 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 what's that dude's name? I forgot his name, but he went and to the shirt and the church and shot them up. All right, you have those situations. That's not that's not that's not on the news like this, you know. That's not that's not a big a big deal like this. That's not treated as as a, a big case of domestic terrorism, but when you have Israelites, all right, or so-called or, 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 or Negroes, Latinos, all right, as the suspects, and is especially against these these uh, Jewish people, all of a sudden it's domestic terrorism. All of a sudden we have to we have to feature it and tie it all in, you know. See when when Trayvon Martin got shot, all right, and Mike Brown got killed, and what's her name, Sandra Sandra uh, uh, Blaine. You know, and then all these different incidences, those are all just separate incidences. We treat those individually. That There's no trend. There's no pattern. There's nothing that we're really doing about that. But when it comes to situations like this, oh, whoa, hold on. This is anti-Semitic. But no, it's not just that. It's, it's domestic terrorism. You know, these people need to be stopped. We need to find out why this so-called domestic terrorism keeps happening. Why are they made, uh, specifically targeting Jewish people? You know, where's the trend? Where's the pattern? Where, what's their influence? What do they all have in common that's influencing them to go and do these different attacks? So you know exactly where Esau is going to take it.
All right, and and as he as he jumps from event to event to event, he leaves webs to tie them all together. So you really gotta watch him, man. Here's ABC's Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, a Jewish community reeling after five people were stabbed during a Hanukkah celebration in what the governor of New York is calling an act of domestic terrorism. Just around 10 p.m. Saturday night, families gathering at the home of a Rockland County rabbi for the seventh night of Hanukkah when a man burst in holding a machete. I need a group for stabbing victims. Those inside describing a scene of terror. I ran into the other room because I tried to hide and burst in home of a Rockland County rabbi for the 7 p.m. Saturday night. Families gathering at the home of a Rockland County rabbi for the seventh night of Hanukkah when a man burst in holding a machete. Tell me, so they don't have locks? They don't lock their doors? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how strong with this dude that he's able to just br burst in, break down the door with locks and all that? Uh, yo, man, I'm pretty sure they got they got the first lock, the second lock, then they got the chain that you could put on the back of the door, you know. But oh, uh, apparently the dude has super strength. You just burst right in, right? <laughs> Your crew for stabbing victims. Those inside describing a scene of terror. I ran into the other room because I tried to save my life. I saw him running down this way. Just swinging his, his sword, knife. I don't know what it was. Back and forth, hitting people. One of the five stabbed is still in critical condition tonight with a skull fracture. Why did you do it? Police say the suspect, 38-year-old Grafton Thomas, ran from the home and headed toward the nearby synagogue. We were scared, but we, not, we were not surprised. Why is this happening? The Community Public Affairs Council posting this surveillance video, which they say shows the suspect leaving the scene in a car. This man chasing after him, riding down the license plate. I saw him going into his car. I followed him to make sure that he doesn't go into the synagogue. Police say that plate number was critical to the case. The NYPD later apprehending Thomas in Harlem and say he was covered in blood. Today, Thomas in a white plastic jumpsuit arraigned, charged with five counts of attempted murder. Governor Cuomo says this attack is the 13th anti-Semitic incident since the beginning of December in New York State. So check this out. It's the 13th anti-Semitic incident since December. So all of a sudden, they they extend this, this uh, NDAA, this Patriot Act, which is to fight against so-called terrorism, domestic terrorism. And then boom, they extend it for three months. And then boom, the rise in, in, in domestic terroristic acts, especially anti-Semitic acts, it just skyrocketed through the roof, right? Out of nowhere, all these years, out of nowhere, just in December, everybody just, just like a whole uh, uh, anti-Semitic steroid rage, all right? And people are just going in, right? Notice how, what, did, what else did they say was anti-Semitic? Yahawashai. They put that poster that, had, that said Yahawashai is coming, that's anti-Semitic. Right, so now when you think of anti-Semitic, what do you think of? You think of these these so-called black people, right, who are going and, and hurting and, and killing innocent Jewish people. And then when you when you when you hear anything anti-Semitic, you think of that shooting, you think of the stabbing, right? You think of that poster, that sign. You see, it's all it's all to to, to get into the minds of the people. And what else would you think of? Oh, oh, tell me. But I heard they, they 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 said something about the black Hebrew Israelites. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So, so now when you hear any of the any of those names, all right, you're automatically thinking of all these different incidents, uh, incidences or events associated with it. Okay, it is a tactic they use on the people's minds. All right, it's called propaganda and demonization. And earlier this month, four killed after a shooting at this kosher grocery store in New Jersey. It is. So you see how they tied that right in real quick? An American cancer that is spreading in the body. The situation has gotten so bad, frankly, that we have to increase our legal enforcement, not just with more police. But we have to change the laws to call this what it is. You hear that? We'll play it back. Since the beginning of the built after a shooting at this kosher grocery store in New Jersey. It is an American cancer 
that is spreading in the body. The situation has gotten so bad, frankly, that we have to increase our legal enforcement, not just with more police, but we have to change the laws to call this what it is. Hmm. So not just not just we're increasing police, but they have to change the laws. You hear that? They have to change the laws to quote unquote call this what it is. You know what changing the laws is gonna do? Changing the laws is going to give them the uh, the act, the authority, the permission. Okay, to come out and then use their subjective language. All right. To come in and basically come after us, because they're not. They're, they're, look, listen, man, this is all propaganda to come after the truth. All right, but certain things they can't do. Why? Because it's against the so-called laws, right? So if they're able to change the laws, then there's no problem. Whoever they suspect, whoever they 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 want to go after, they can. And and these these devils are good at that, man. They will put the out the outer picture, the front cover. Of, of the of the legislation and then they'll, they'll put some secret stuff in there the, the writing they'll write it a certain way to where you don't pick up on it and then they'll just start going in on rampaging all right and then and then when you when people are like yo what's going on they'll be like oh well that's part of the new law that we signed and through these these changing of the laws they're gonna be able to come in physically all right grab us up man even though we're innocent okay now, like I said, whether they tie this dude in, which they're going to say it, but whether they tie him into into uh, having any sort of uh, uh, influence or uh, um, ties to Israelites or not, they're still going to push that agenda of this being anti-Semitic. All right? This is terrorism. And tonight, as this community gathers <laughs> to celebrate the eighth and final night of Hanukkah, a plea for answers. Something must be done. It's time. We have to put our foot down to this. And Stephanie Ramos joining us now outside that home in Muncie, New York. Stephanie, this uptick in hate crimes against the Jewish community has authorities on high alert. They are wet. The FBI is working to obtain a warrant to access Thomas's online accounts, his devices, to figure out what he was reading, writing, and saying. Right now, law enforcement officials say they have not found a link to other recent attacks. Thomas is pleading. You hear that? What is the FBI doing? You trying to get a warrant for what? Against the Jewish community has authorities on high alert. They are wet. The FBI is working to obtain a warrant to access Thomas's online accounts, his devices, to figure out what he was reading, writing, and saying. Hmm. What he was reading, writing, and saying. So, as they're, 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 they're trying to uh, uh, get this warrant, okay, to go into his access online accounts, all right, don't be surprised if they say, well, he, he you know, he read certain things, he listened to certain people, you know, he did certain, and, and at this point, they can literally make make up whatever they want to make up and say, oh, this is what we found, all right, so and so. You know, this is what, he, this, these are the people he was affiliated with, you know. This is what, this is what he was into. This is what he listened to. And then after that comes the false, te the false witnesses, right? They, oh, yeah, I heard him. He was chanting this. He was saying that. He was always this kind of, did, did. We, look, we've seen it over and over again, man. It's the same rhetoric. All right, the same rhetoric that Esau tries to push, but you know what? You have you have people that fall for the same thing over and over and over again. Okay, so let me get a couple of precepts real quick. This is Second Corinthians chapter two verse eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay, and this is a part of his devices. They push and push and push. They won't come at you directly, but they will imply what they're trying to say or what they're trying to do. Okay, and they want you to get the message, and slowly but surely they push for, uh, towards it, man. Okay, they have an agenda, but they don't come out right and tell you their agenda. They want to guide, d direct you, to end up at the same conclusion that they want you to come to. So where you are supporting them in accomplishing their agenda, as opposed to if they told you what their agenda was from the beginning, you'd be like, nah, that's not right. But if they can make you, quote unquote, come to them 
to make them accomplish their agenda, then they've they've basically got their goal. You know? So what do they do? They use fear, propaganda, and they use different different uh, uh, events, man. Okay? Because people, uh, when you tie in an event, all right, especially like a killing or, or whatever, okay, that, 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 that stays in people's minds. And it triggers what? It triggers emotions. Okay? This is Psalms 55 and 21. Keep in mind, this, this, the media and all that, it's not, we don't control that. Okay, that's controlled by these elites, man, these 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 Jewish owners from the higher up. But now what they're trying to do is they're trying to make it to where you can't say anything. Whether what you're saying is true or not, even if it is the truth, they can say, no, that's hate speech or that's discriminating or that's coming against all right, uh, uh, the Jewish community, which we have to protect. But wait, what about what they did? You know, let's let's go into history. Let's see how they got the land. Let's see if their line actually goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know? Let's see the kind of things they funded. Okay? What, what, what happened to us, though? You know, when we, when we were going through all these different hardships that we were on... Look, man, they came and kidnapped us, all right, from different parts of the world, mainly the West Coast of Africa, brought us here, put us in slavery, and are benefiting off of us till this day. But but no, we, we they, they, there's no outcry for that. We'll get over it, right? They came to the Americas. Li, li, this is how they came to the Americas, okay? West west the western part of the world, the quote unquote, quote unquote new world, all right? Enslaved the natives, killed them, murdered them brutally in cold blood, stole the land, okay? And then now they're calling them immigrants. They're calling them all right illegal aliens. Push them onto reservations. But wait, wait, hold on, where's the outcry for that? Where's justice? Where's the protection for, for our people? No, no, that doesn't exist. You know why? Because we're not in power. We're not in rulership. Esau's in rulership. So what is Esau going to do? He's going to demonize us, and he's going to, quote, unquote, protect his own. All right? Because to Esau, we are the enemy. Even though we're innocent, he's going to paint that picture. All right? This is Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. See? So they'll come out and say these things as though they're being sentimental or they're, they're being, you know, they, they feel sorry for what happened. That they're only trying to do this to prevent it from happening again. But that's not what it is. All right? Because if you're the same person playing the hero and the villain... Are you really a hero? If you're the same person causing these things to happen and they're coming out and acting like, oh, well, I don't know what happened, and but I'm really trying to prevent it. You see, that's how they come, man. They talk, they sweet talk you until you, 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 you give them your consent. And once they have the power, you can forget about it. All right. It says, um, Ezekiel 28 and 3, behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. All right. And guess what? These 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 elites, man, guess what? They have that. They are, quote unquote, wiser than Daniel, man. All right? Because they know how people work. They studied, the, the they have something called silent weapons for silent wars, man. Okay? They've studied how the masses peop and, and people think. All right? If you, if you were to really sit down and look at the way uh, uh, different ethnicities and different groups are, are, are positioned geographically, okay? Look at the different neighborhoods, look at the schools, look at everything and look at how it's designed. Okay? It's not by coincidence. All right? They know exactly what they're doing because they, they have an agenda that they're trying to push. So they know how to do it. They've studied uh, or time and time and again, experimented. Okay? And they know, okay, if we want, the, we'll, all right, we'll do a test run, see how the people react to it. Oh, okay, this is how they react. Okay, so we know next time we got to do it this way. Do another test run. Make it more intense. See how they react to that. Okay, now that we're certain that this is how they're going to react, now do the real thing so we can get our desired outcome. All right? Keep in mind, man, as it tells you in Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. Okay? So everything that they're doing, man, they have the power. They've been given the power to do so now. But nonetheless... Look, man, the ultimate judge, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, is going to justify us, man. All right? 
and he will deliver us from whatever all right uh plans that he saw us set nonetheless i'm gonna end it here i really just wanted to bring this clip out okay because like i said man you, when you watch these news clips and stuff you really have to listen all right to the words they use the phrases they use the terms they use you know trying to quote unquote change laws and all that Hey, man, like we keep saying, 2020 is looking like a, a hell of an action-packed year, man. All right, but I'm going to end it here. Lord willing, this was at a final to the elect. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rechak Wadash. Till next time, Shalom.